the nation's <laughs> favourite celebrities. It's not worth a tenner. Paired up with an expert. You're learning. <laughs> And a classic car. This is very exciting, isn't it? It is. Their mission to scar Britain for antiques. Got a nice ring to it. The aim to make the biggest profit at auction. Come on. But it's no easy ride. Break? I can't. Who will find a hidden gem? I hope I don't live to regret this. Take the biggest risk. We've definitely got a problem. Will anybody follow expert advice? You'd never catch me by anything like that. There will be worthy winners. <laughs> And valiant losers. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Put your pedal to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Celebrity Antiques Road Trip. Yeah. Today's trippers are a long way from their natural habitat. Bit different, isn't it, Mo? Yeah, I know. From Walford. Oh, God. <laughs> That's two of Albert Square's feistiest females, Rita Simons and Layla Morse, a.k.a. Roxy and Big Mo. And it seems they've gone all rural. Do you know what, Layla? In London is not for me. I hate it. So do I. I. hate it. With vengeance. Absolutely. But it's lovely, though, here, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Cool. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Concrete. Give me Devon any day yeah. of the week. Yeah, not a bad spot for a run around in an old jam jar, though, is it? Which, in this case, is a rather stately Mercedes-Benz 220. <laughs> There's never been one like this on the square. This is 60 years old, this car. Is it? Yeah. But it's massive. It feels like I'm driving a... A oh, hearse. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Rita first appeared on EastEnders back in 2007, when the Mitchell sisters Roxy and Ronnie arrived with a bang. She stayed on the square for 10 years before coming to a sticky end, as is so often the way in Walford. <laughs> We've never done this before. No, we've been on a road trip. Ten years in the same set on the same square. Except for when we went to weddings and funerals. Oh, they were fun. <laughs> weddings and funerals. <laughs> you were fun. Who died? Everybody. <laughs> Who didn't die? Layla has played the tough talking grand matriarch of the Slater family, Mo Harris, on and off for over 20 years. A fan of the dodgy deal is Big Mo, but we'll have none of that on this trip. Thank you very much. I'm actually quite looking forward to yeah. the haggle. So you know I like a haggle. Yeah. I love a haggle. Do you know what I do? What? I'll flatter you. I'll flatter you. <laughs> <laughs> I go, you're going to give me money off, aren't you? You are, aren't you? And eventually they just go, all right. I just wear them down. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It works. Like that. Like that. Go. <laughs> you're going to give me money off. <laughs> aren't you? She's got a twitch. <laughs> try out that tactic. <laughs> They'll each get 400 nicker. That's pounds to you and me, and some expert help in the form of fellow London resident Catherine Southern from south of a river, and the odd one out, Yorkshire's own Angus Ashworth. Now, we just need to get these two to the shops. We haven't exactly got a sat-nav here. No, I've got a map in the back. Oh, have you? I'll have to get that out. Are we just that... aimlessly driving? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> For this trip, our East End girls head west. They'll be thoroughly doing Devon all the way to Brixham, but their first port of call is in the village of Heal, at the Antique Village. Housed in a former cider factory. Sounds intoxicating. Look at this. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it cool, Jess? Oh, I bet there's a lot of nice bits in there, don't you? It looks really big. I think we're going to be here a long time. Better jump to it, then. <laughs> Steady on. That's a worry. Huh. A host of dealers display some very fine wares, and already on the hunt, a pair of eager experts. Good apples, a pair of them. Catherine. Hello. How are you? This is good, isn't it? I know. Nice to see you. I'm good. Good. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm having, literally, living my best you're, life. You're, you're like this. Yes, no, I'm having a lovely <laughs> Everything. I need your, I need your expertise because I am literally going... <gasps> I absolutely love everything. Too much. But there's too much choice. You say to me, Rita. No. Chill. No. Yeah. I need you to that's go, fine. no, that's worth nothing. That's fine. Let's go get, get it all. Come on. <laughs> She's going to be a bad influence. Let's get the other two together. Ella. Ella, hi. How are you doing? You all right? I'm fine. How are Gosh, you? I'm very well. Very excited. So am I. You into antiques? Well, I like to um, buy a few bits now and again. I mean, I wouldn't say I was a good collector, but yeah. I like things that catch me eye and have a look, and if I like it, I'll have it. 
Brilliant. You know. And what, what about the negotiation side? Do you think you're, you're going to be a tough negotiator? I'm going to try. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll get me in an headlock. <laughs> I said half price. I, I, I think we're going to be all right. Let's hope so. <laughs> Blimey, Layla means business. Right, gang, let's get stuck in and see what we can find. Now I know what I know what this is. Is the willow pattern plate right? That is willow pattern. Yes. Yeah, see, oh, I know something. Good, because you used to go to antique centres. Is that right, as a child? Yeah. So my parents used to drag me on a Sunday. <laughs> drag me to antiques fairs, which at the time I was like, oh, this is so boring. But now I kind of, I, I love this kind of you stuff. switch. Well, now, correct bottom. me if I'm mistaken, but because I know what that is, I'm going to say it's not worth that much because they might be quite common. <laughs> Fairly common. Yeah. It's transfer printed. Yeah. It's got 30 oh. pounds on. We can do better than yeah, that. Yeah, okay. We definitely can do okay, much fine. better. Yeah, promising start though. Let's see what the other two are into. Yeah, I like that. This is nice. Hey, it's different, is that, isn't it? Lovely carved. 425 quid. Yeah, that kind of blows all our budget, really, doesn't it? But there's something about it, isn't it? It's, it's sort of like Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he could be. Mm. Do you think that could give us some divine uh, results at all? Well, I've touched it, so it might be fetch us a bit of luck. Oh, well, I best touch it as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorted now. Success is almost assured, as long as you find something to buy. Love this. What is it? Exactly. What, what is, is it? it? What is it? It's big, whatever it is. Is it to do with cooking? That's a good guess, actually. I mean, would you cook in that? Because it's got that, um... Dirt? Yeah. <laughs> is it for the garden? No. Ish. Go on, you know what this it's is. It's for your logs. To put by your fireplace. Oh! Isn't that lovely? To store them. Mm. And this is arts and crafts. So this has I... all been sort of hammered yes. from behind. And this is lovely in copper. Yeah. Don't you think that's lovely? I think it's gorgeous and I'm obsessed with fireplaces. Are you? Yeah, I've got to have a fireplace and I'm very with my logs and my all my the lovely. paraphernalia that goes with it. So I actually really like this. I've just seen the price. So um it's £225. That's a lot, isn't it? Over half your £400 budget, in fact. What do we do? Do we think about it? All right, fine. Okay. Should we leave it there for a yeah, minute? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Progress at last, well, sort of. Meanwhile, up the apples and pears. Oh, I like this. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Is that, is that the sort of thing you'd have in your house? Yeah, I would. I'd have it in a conservatory or in a bedroom. Yeah. We can never have enough chairs, can we? No. You? And also, look. Yeah, well, some, somebody's... It's got a Chinese I think, tassel. It's a Victorian is... chair. This this probably would have been worn originally. They've reupholstered it and obviously put put that on it. So they, they've painted the frame. Uh, it's quite cool. It's had an old repair on it as well, if we look. See, the and leg's been got... smashed off and it's been fixed with all these brass straps. Yeah, but it does look... It, it, in a way, it adds to it, doesn't I like, it? I yeah. like it. Yeah, I think it's nice. 110 quid. I think we need to get a reasonable discount on that to give us a fighting chance. We can try and negotiate. I could kick him in the shins. That, that... <laughs> it's a novel approach. Yeah, well, we can try. There's no harm in trying, is there? Well, kick him in the shins, you mean? <laughs> or ask him nicely if he'd let her have it for 50 quid. I'd try the nice way. At least at first. Yeah, no, I like it. We'll have that. I'm just a bit worried in case uh, I don't make you good profits. I'm going to get, you know. <laughs> Well, spare a thought for poor shopkeeper Clive. He has no idea what's heading his way. Look what I've got. You have one too. I have <laughs> one. <laughs> you have luggage. I, I have luggage. luggage. Going anywhere nice, girls? This one's looking a bit fresh, doesn't it? What, the sticker? Yeah. That's still like 80s or something, it isn't is. it? It's quite retro, Do isn't you know it? how I know? I went on the Canberra cruise. Oh, did you? In the 80s, yeah. I did. Ah. Oh, so did you? oh well, that. that's why you're drawn towards this. Maybe. Well, mine. I thought it was lovely. Got all the lovely stickers on it. The locks are there. The keys oh, there. But wait for it. He's got it. <gasps> oh, we've got a for Rita and Roxy. Yes. Well, this one's got fifty. This doesn't have a price on it. Therefore, it's actually free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think if we can get them for the right price, do you not think we can sell them as sort of stackable with the whole on-trend bit? So buy two? Yeah. Do you reckon? I'll give it a go. You're pretty feisty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. More stuff to add to the shopping list. 
Now, with that chair earmarked, Leila and Angus are on the lookout for something else. That's a bit different, isn't it? It's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I think Proper it's... Proper unusual. I think it's probably Indian originally, yeah, carved it's... wood. But it's, the colours are nice, aren't they? It's 275, so it's, it's a big part of our budget. All depends on the negotiation, doesn't it, really? It all depends on how many people want to buy that. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think she's quite sold on it, Angus. It's what I would call speculative. It's a risk. But it's the sort of thing that will either flop or make us a lot of money. Maybe not for me. I don't like the look of that now in there. Yeah. It's, it's sort of like keeping its ear on. No, OK, OK. Let's, okay. Let's okay. Have a look. Oh, look. Here, round here. OK. She's onto something. What do you think of that, Angus? That's all right. The old theatre poster, isn't it? Ace high. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I, I like how it says a riot of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. 1946. A cast of star artistes. Artistes. <laughs> I used to have posters like this okay. in my kitchen. I had a big kitchen, so I had all different things. Yeah, but I think, it's, it's I think really that'd go. Decorative, I, yeah. I think, and I think, I think you know, that sort go. of thing is a decorative thing. Like you say in your house, having it, you know, up in the kitchen or, or something like that would be quite good. Yours for 45 smackers. I don't think that's unreasonable, framed up. No. No. Is that another one for the list? Yeah, we'll have that. Right, excellent. I like that. You're very decisive. We'll have that. Yeah, we'll have that then. <laughs> yeah. Just the dealer to tackle first. Watch your shins, Clive. Hello. Well, what have you found? You found a couple of bits, haven't you? Yeah, there's a nice little flower chair upstairs with a tassel, blue tassel on the back of it. Yeah, I know the one, the Victorian blue yeah, back the one. Yeah, the one with the damaged leg, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's... What was the other thing? A poster. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, it was the theatre poster yeah. from oh, 1946. Famous one, yeah. 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 Well, that's a nice couple of things, isn't it? And I'm sure you'd make money even at the ticket price. Uh, well, <laughs> Leila's no, a we very good we... negotiator. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to you much, do this. How much did it come to altogether? It's 155. 155. Yeah. How about 70 quid? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a punch to the gut, isn't it? I was like told a to hung... flatter my eyelashes, so. Uh, I... Could we? How about eighty pounds for the pair of them, and then everybody's happy? That would be a perfect solution, wouldn't it? And you've got some great value. I, I, I reckon all I'm bringing you on all my negotiations. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll add that. Perfect. A super discount, Clive. Your shins are safe. Thirty pounds for the poster and fifty for the chair. Three hundred and twenty to take to the next shop. Shall I be your chauffeur? Oh, that's very kind. No problem. Thank you. You're very welcome. Lovely. Time for Lady Layla and Ashworth to do one. Any moment now. Is it up the belt? Oh, it's an odd job, this is. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> so much for our quick get away. Uh, uh, here we go. Let's try that again, shall we? Right, shop, here we go. Yeah. Much better. Back inside, despite having a couple of log bin and a couple of cases under consideration, Rita and Catherine are still hungry for more. We need to get something smaller. What about something sparkly? Yeah. Well, what would you love to see in a cabinet like this? Are you diamonds? I'm... Are you pearls? Diamonds, gold. Is that gold, gold? They are gold. Are oh, they dress studs? Oh, OK. Gentlemen's accessories. Should we have a look? Yeah. That's quite nice that they're in a fitted case. And this looks like an agate, mm -hmm. but it's probably like a cat size. Edwardian dress buttons are often repurposed today and converted into spectacular cufflinks. Nice. Do you want to rub your fingers over those and just see what they're like? Because I'm thinking that one looks a bit chipped. Because you can imagine yes, wearing those. Yes, that one's chipped. What, what's on them? They yes. are 89. They're actually selling quite well at the moment, so sort of studs or collar studs mm -hmm. or um, cufflinks, that sort of thing. Do you like? I like them if they're going to make Some a money. profit. Should we talk to Clive? Yes. And see? <laughs> You're very excited about all this, aren't you? Come on. She's almost giddy. Off to the counter with you, then. Hello. Ladies, how, how did we get on? Oh, <laughs> we got on very well, I think, really? didn't we? Really? So we have found... Yeah. Two suitcases, mm -hmm. the ones with the travel stickers on. Lots of stickers on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them's got an R on. Right. And then there's other with, um... Canberra. Canberra. Canberra oh, cruise no, sticker. Oh, that one. Wow, yeah. Because it came from my mum. Oh, did it? So, bearing in mind that the bigger one has got a £50 price tag on it... Yes. ..and your lovely mum's one doesn't have a price on it, so therefore it should be free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, 
What are you thinking? Like, I buy one, get one free, £50 gonna... pound for the two of them. That's what we want. Imagine how much trouble I'm going to get in at home. However, yes. let's do that. Oh, let's do it. thank uh, you. Because you know, I do really well with them. Jolly good. On to the £225 log bin. What are we thinking? £150 kind of thing would be... That's a very generous discount. Can we discount, go down a little bit? So, go on. What's your best? Yeah, what's your best? Well, it's £100, isn't it, for you guys, yeah? Which is, like, 50% and a bit off. Should we do it? Yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we uh, do that? Yes. You. Finally, those dress buttons. 89 on those, remember? So we were wondering, and then I'll stop doing this to you. 40? Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> let's do it. We've got a deal on everything. You're brilliant. Fantastic. So how much is that? 190 by my reckoning. A pretty chunky discount. I'm coming back with a van. I want to buy more. Yeah, we no, we have, to, we have to quit now. Come on, we've got to quit. Come on. Thank you. Shopaholics, those two. 210 still in the kitty. I feel like Paddington Bear. Do you? Yes. <laughs> like a marmalade sandwich. Very good. Are we going on the Canberra, darling? Yes, darling. Canberra. Come on, it's I love it. <laughs> bon voyage. Now, also on the move, Leila and Angus, having a good old natter about what just went down. I think you've really got the hang of this. You, your negotiations, I'm impressed. Oh, good, thank you. All those years of doing those dodgy deals has paid <laughs> off, hasn't it? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. Yes, we definitely saw a bit of mo coming out back there. You were on East Enders a long time, were you? 21 years. 21 years. That is quite a run, isn't it? Mo was a character that didn't stand no old nonsense. What she wanted, she'd go and get. Yeah. No, she got people to do a lot of her stuff. <laughs> and we've had some right fun at, at times. I mean, I, I've had a a pig. You had a called, pig? Called Chops. Chops? <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what we nicknamed it, Chops. Yeah. We had a parrot. Yeah. I used to make it swear. They didn't know that. And then when they were filming, was it, it coming did, out? It did come out with some things. Oh, dear. It's lucky that people really didn't take much notice of it. I hope you're not going to teach me to say inappropriate language, and Oh, no, no, you know, no, no. Yeah, keep it clean. We'll just go nice and polite. Yeah. And we'll just make out with the poor people. That could go down. Well, I mean, look how old our car is. Yeah. yeah. I think Angus is picking up some bad behaviour. <laughs> Next on the itinerary for these two is the town of Ottery St Mary on the River Otter where every summer they celebrate Pixie Day, commemorating the banishment of pixies from the town during the early days of Christianity. But perhaps they actually never left and just opened an antique shop instead because there's some weird and wonderful things going on at the vintage trading post. Ah. Well, there we are. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's a bit quirky, isn't it? Oh. Wait till you see inside. See what we can find. <laughs> yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? The wares of over a hundred dealers grace cabinets of curiosity and every nook and cranny. There's antique, vintage, retro, and some things you just can't put a label on. What do you say about him over there? What do you think that is? Is it plastic? Well, I think it's an alien. Well, I know it's yeah. an alien. I'd um, love to have that in my house. You'd love to have that in your house? I like scaring people. Yeah. Blimey. Perhaps we'd better find something that's a bit less out there <laughs> to spend your £320 on. Oh, look, these are nice little cabinets. Looks like we've hit the silver section. OK, which bit jumps out? Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. What's that? That one? That's an uh, inkwell, a capstan inkwell. Oh, I like that. Silver Hallmark, Birmingham, 1937. Uh, capstan, because of the shape of it, it's like the naval capstan yeah. that you would have had uh, the ropes round. Hinges all intact. What made you go for the inkwell? Cos it's big. People will see that and go, oh, that's, that's all right, yeah. It stands out, yeah. It's got quite a wide body, so it's not going to move. The top's a little bit wonky, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Priced up, £95. Is there a big profit at auction? Maybe not a huge one, but it's quite a nice thing. Well, I'll we'll knock it down a bit. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from you. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're the master of that. Consider yourself warned, Anya. She's in charge of deals today. All right, put it back oh, in. Right. We'll have a little mooch round. OK. Those two are in their element. Let's see where the others have got to. They've headed to Topsham on the outskirts of Exeter, a major trading port in its day, exporting wool and cotton to the Netherlands and bringing back tiles as ballast, which is why some of the town's buildings have a distinctly Dutch look. 
and it's down to the old port for Rita and Catherine, hoping for some of that mercantile spirit at Key Antique Centre. Oh, oh me. <laughs> down, boy. Three floors of goodies from over 60 dealers means that our two will have their work cut out for them. Oh, look at him. And when they do find something they like, Helen is on hand to relieve them of some of that £210 budget, currently burning a hole in their pocket. What have you got? So this is a menorah. You like this at Hanukkah? Right. This represents the eight nights of Hanukkah, but I don't think this feels like it's... Worth anything, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm loving the tapping. Yeah, it's you good, see, isn't I'm it? Learning. And just by the way, this is cast as well, which is actually not—it's not particularly well made. I think it's quite modern. I mean, I had to pick it up because I have actually been quietly looking all day and thinking. Have you? Yeah, because you see so many crosses, mm. and I was like, I wonder if there's any sort of a Star of David or something that is actually from my own religion. If you're Jewish, this is called Shmata. Ah, it's just a Shmata. We'll and would down. you buy that? No. Oh, no, we definitely don't do schmutter. On with the hunt, then. Meanwhile, back in Ottery... Oh, that's, that looks interesting. Look at this. Yes! Cast-iron doorstop. Oh, and it... Oh, yeah. Is it heavy? Heavy. Yeah. That's a lion, isn't it? It is a lion. I'm the a rump... Leo. Are you? Yeah. The stars have aligned, haven't they? This, this is fate, you yeah, know. Yeah, I like it. £45 is the price. Do you know what? That's not bad. I mean, I see that at... 40 to 60 in the sale room. Really? It's quite a standard pattern that we do see quite a lot, but it, it's very what we call country house. Anything that looks like it's from a big country house is quite in at the moment. So, and the, there's a lot of Leos out there. About a twelfth of the population, by my reckoning. It says things, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got character, hasn't it? It's, it's detailed. Got character, yeah. And it's practical. I would have that as a doorstop. Yeah. Shall we have it? Castles, Shall we have it? <laughs> You're getting into this now, are you? Yeah, I like yeah. it. I mean, your line will come out on the negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> Time to unleash her on an unsuspecting shopkeeper, poor thing. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? All, All right. right. We've, we've got a couple of bits, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, so we what well, are you thinking? You're, well, you're the what, lead it, negotiator. It, yeah, I know, but what's it add up to? £140 in total. I can do 85 on this one, and we could probably do 35 on that one. How's that sound? Not a lot, is it? <laughs> it's not a lot. So I did chief negotiator. It's not a lot. Oh, that takes us down to 120. Well, I don't want to pay 120. What about we do 100? All right. Go on then, give it a dosh. All right, OK. No messing about there. 65 for the inkwell, 35 for the doorstop, 220 still in hand. You That's carry it. that. I'll carry that. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you carry that one. I'll right. carry this one, shall I? All right. <laughs> All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye, love. Let's head back to Topsham, where that hidden gem is proving elusive. This isn't easy, is it? Nope. It really isn't. What is this? Do you know what it's just caught my eye? Because mm. it's got the, the luggagey theme. The leather. Going on. Yep, leather with the nice gents' bottles. A travel set for cologne, etc. Well, they're not silver, that's for sure. Are so they these not? are just chrome. OK. Chrome top glass. Check that they've all got their lids and they've all got their little inner bits. All that noise. You don't like that noise. All the noise, all the noise, all the noise, all the noise. I can't do that. Oh, no! Oh, Butterfingers. I seriously yeah, it's can't got its take lid. you anywhere. <laughs> I can't do that again. But isn't it lovely? These fit perfectly. You're like a child. <laughs> you seriously are. I like the fact that it's sort of in keeping with the cases that we got. I think that would fit really nicely. It's probably like 40s or 50s, maybe, in date. Nicely stitched around here. Yeah. Nice tan leather. And I just love the way that the bottles are all fitted yeah. in there perfectly. And it's at 58 at the moment. Can you do something? I mean, I'll give it a go. Can you give it a go? Come on. Time to have a haggle with Helen. Hi. Hello. We think we found something. We think we have. Because we bought some cases before. Mm -hmm. We thought this would go quite nicely. However, <laughs> do you think you're willing to go down a bit with this? Yeah, I know the dealer and I know she looks at 40. I mean, I'm going to say, yeah, should we just do it? Shall we do it? Yeah, Let's do 40. it. 40. Brilliant. 
and that purchase whittles their money down to £170. Oh. You're happy, Bunny? I am a happy Bunny. I like to make you happy. You good. make me very happy, Catherine. Good, good. A perfect place to call it a day. All this shopping lark is thirsty work. Are you buying tonight? Well, I suppose I've got to, really, and I? <laughs> you've done all the driving. I've done all the driving. I know you've done all the and driving. Only because my little legs don't touch the pedals. I know That's they why. don't. Yeah, I'll buy the drinks tonight. Thanks. That's all right. Double, yeah? Now you're stepping it out. <laughs> Nighty night. It's going to be another good day in Devon. Look, we've got the roof off. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a terrible job we've got. <laughs> I feel really exuberated, if that's a word. Yeah. That's exactly the word, Leila. Now, how did you get on with your newfound chums? Angus and Catherine know their stuff. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm in awe of it. I'd be lost without Catherine on this, definitely. Yeah, and Angus is so funny. Isn't it? All day long we're laughing. Yeah. Well, with the help of their experts, there was a whole lot of shopping going on yesterday. On Team Layla, it was Warford Market rules all the way. <laughs> we can try negotiations. I could pick him in the shins. Their purchases have left them with £220 to play with. Meanwhile, compulsive shopper Rita could barely contain herself. <laughs> You're very excited about I all know. this, aren't you? She forked out even more on her haul. Just 170 left in the kitty. And now they've both got the bit between their teeth. Are we sensing any rivalry growing? I think that me and you couldn't be less competitive. Oh, no. I don't care, do you? No, not really. I mean, I want to make money. Yeah. But I, I would never be like, I've got to be Lena. No, and I don't think that about you either. If you'd have been someone different... Yeah, maybe. ..that I weren't keen on... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go to the ends of the earth to be here. <laughs> Well, you might think differently once you've had a look at each other's odds and ends. Hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. Here we are, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Time to pop open the boot. Should we do it? Go on. OK. Oh. Oh, wow! They've got a tyre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a rare tyre, actually. Yeah. Uh, can I take this out? Yeah, it's good, that, isn't it? It's giving me snuffy vibes. Snuffy. Like, I don't mean. I don't mean snuff. I don't mean snuff. I mean snuff out candleage. I mean it'd be a tiny candle. It's an inkwell. Ah. Oh, in the form a, of a capstone. Yeah. That's a good a one, silver. right? It's good. How much you pay for that, Mo? I'm not telling you. Oh, she's one of those. And she said she wasn't competitive. And this doorstop. Mm. Meh. It's quite boring. Whatevs. Listen, a lot of people would like to have that, I tell you. I think we've upset yeah. them. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's move on. I mean, what you've got here? A rough old suitcase. It is a rough old yeah. suitcase, but think of the tales that it tells. And the mm. way people start, which I do myself, stacking up the trunks for interiors. So we thought maybe we'll go with something that's going to be popular on trend, which I, I mean, think they are. Layla, as much as I, I don't want to agree with them, they are kind of, it's kind of the in thing at the moment. Well, it ain't my thing. No, I know. Well, I knew it wouldn't be, no. <laughs> What's these little things here? Some sort of buttons. Dress buttons. Yeah. Where would Gentlemen's dress... What? what, on oh. their fly? <laughs> I'd look quite good with those, wouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're really not impressed, are you, Leila, at all? No, not really. A bit boring, <laughs> isn't it? Nobody's pulling their punches today. Should we just... Should we just, um, leave it there? Yeah. Probably a wise move. <laughs> There'll be another chance to shop before they head off to auction at Newport in Shropshire. But first, our East End ladies and their chums are off to commune with nature at Buckfastly. This county has an affinity to one particular rather charismatic creature, the otter. There's a river and a town named after this semi-aquatic carnivore. And the story of Tarka, the most famous fictional otter, was also set in Devon. To find out more, Rita and Catherine are popping into the Dartmoor Otter Sanctuary. Have you seen an otter before? Not in the kind flesh. Of, no, not in the flesh of you. I don't think so. Well, you're about to get up close and personal. There's some over there. I know, they're gorgeous. Oh, they got what do you like? They remind me of my dog. With the help of otter keeper Sophie Blunt. <laughs> 
absolutely what you like? gorgeous. Love <laughs> the otters. Yeah. What do you do here? We take care of otters that needed a home for various reasons. A lot of them came from different sanctuaries, and then some of them have also come from the wild as they were not dealing very well out in the wild on their own. In the wild, they're a lot more nocturnal. Here, they're a bit more active in the daytime just because they get really excited about people coming to see them, so they'll show off and be awake. <laughs> really? Yeah, mainly at the feeding times, and then they'll nap in between. <laughs> I know a few people like that. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy percent of their diet is made up of fish. Anything they can catch, uh, so it'll be mammals, reptiles, amphibians, insects, birds, that kind of thing. Oh, really? These Asian otters next to us are more insect-oriented. Um, we find our Europeans will hunt birds. Oh, these really? are Asian <laughs> otters. These guys will live in groups of around forty. And they're very family oriented. You can see that they're really family oriented, can't you? I mean, they're sociable. Very, very huggy, very tactile. Yeah. Life in the wild is a lot tougher than the cushy number that these chaps have, so much so that the otter became an endangered species in the UK during the 20th century. Leila and Angus have headed down to the River Dart to meet Ben Potterton, who's in charge of the Otter Trust, a charity set up to protect these creatures and their habitat. We're very much in love with the otter nowadays, but has that always been the case? No, the otter has been considered vermin uh, for a long time to its history, so anything that, that ate food that we ate, we didn't want, we would kill. Oh. So what you would have is you'd have your, your local policeman and your church warden would be able to pay people to, to go out and kill them. And then later on, we obviously had otter hunts where it was organised hunts with hounds and horses and they would go along a river like this and, and they would we'd cull them out. As well as persecution, native otters have had to contend with other man-made issues. River pollution from farming and industry, habitat loss and the rise of the motor car have all had a drastic effect on the population. We don't still hunt them today, do we? No, so the otter got legal protection in the 1970s and then in 1981 uh, it got a higher level of protection so we can't kill otters at all now. The 1970s, when we knew the otter was in trouble, people like Philip and Jean Ware of the Otter Trust, which was based in Suffolk, were able to collect some of these otters that were going to be culled and start a breeding programme, um, quite specific, um, to put otters back, small numbers, into rivers where they'd been lost. And then when the 1981 protection came in, it meant that actually we weren't losing otters anymore. So the work of the Otter Trust in, in the 70s and 80s and 90s really has brought this species back in this country. We think we've pretty much got coverage across the United Kingdom now, but certainly still endangered in certain areas. So there's still work to do? There's always work to do in conservation. And part of that work is where the sanctuary comes in. By getting people to engage with these marvellous animals, they can get a better understanding of the importance of protecting them and their environment. As the top predator in our waterways, they help to keep the habitat in balance, and their presence in a river is a good indicator that biodiversity is flourishing. The problem is, in this river here, there is a healthy otter population, but you can't see them. So actually having a little visitor centre that has a great conservation story, you can come along, see the otter, and have an understanding of what's happening in a river or a stream near your house. It's cool, isn't it? It's fantastic, isn't it? Back in the sanctuary, the residents have just got wind that there's a little treat in store. May I ask why there's a dish of boiled eggs next to me? <laughs> so we give these guys food enrichment every day, just to try and keep them entertained, give them something different and something to do and hard-boiled eggs tend to be their favourite. Time this cafe was open for business. There's a queue forming. <gasps> oh, oh, my look goodness! Oh, oh, I cannot cope with that. Oh, you are adorable. Oh, oh my look, this God, I cannot no, take come on, it. Let's give them some food. That's Would you like some mean. food, baby? With these, I normally crack them open, just tear them into smaller pieces, and then okay. you can just pass it to them, and I'll take it straight from you. What is this? Oh, they love it. Don't they? Look at this. Uh, it's not just a tasty treat they're getting. For these captive otters, enrichment activities like this keep them physically and mentally active and encourage their natural exploratory behaviour. Do they share? When they take it, do they share with the others? Uh, they do sometimes. Not all the time. Oh, that's you. Willow, the mum. Willow, is Willow a baby? Oh, that's no, the that's mom. the mum. Yeah, she's oh, six Mum can't off. get any because her kid's typical. <laughs> Otterly delightful. Now, with a Layla and Angus. Just pulling into port in the historic coastal town of Brixham, once home to England's largest fishing fleet, and also where the Dutch prince, William of Orange, landed in 1688 on his way to claim the English crown. So, it's safe to say that the sea is in their blood here. That's also true of our twosome's final shop, the splendidly named Brixham Steam Packet Company and Chart Room Coffee Lounge. Cat.
Apache. I think this is us. Oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Lovely. So it looks like we're going on to uh, the Queen Mary or something, doesn't it? Yeah, I've been on there. You've been on it? Wow, look at this. Hi. Good Hello. afternoon. Hi. Welcome aboard. Uh, this is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Right. We knew you were coming, so we prepared you uh, Oh, my word. Really? <laughs> Look at this. Is that oh, for us? Devon cream tea is for you. Thank you very much. Thanks oh. very much. We've never had this before. No, have this we? is like oh. the royal treatment, isn't it? Lucky so and so's. We'll get used to this, couldn't we? They have a lot of be jealous. Oh, they will. Rita's <laughs> going to be very jealous, oh, isn't no. she? While they get stuck in, we'll have a look at what their remaining £220 might go on. It's wall-to-wall -wall nauticalia in here, with a big side order of maritime stuff for good measure. If you want something that isn't to do with ships, forget it. I do like a nice cup of tea. Yeah. Traditional uh, Devonshire scones. Now, this is an important question. Jam, then cream, or the other way? No, I do jam and cream. Yeah, good. I keep that to yourselves in Devon. That's the Cornish way. And have you, you got any sort of maritime connections or...? My dad was in the Navy. Oh, OK. The Royal Navy. Royal Navy. Oh, he fantastic. Was on the, a destroyer called the, the Royal Sheffield. Sheffield, good Yorkshire, I want to say. Best, best ship there was, that in the York. All the way to the last shop before mentioning Yorkshire. Angus, you're slipping. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Why don't you run round... Yeah. ..have a look at a couple of things and fetch them back here and I'll... Say yes or no. Uh, well, certainly, madam. Yes, certainly. And then you certainly. can eat that later. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll get straight to it. I'm sorry about that. Oh, dear. Times are hard. So, while Layla gives the cabin boy his marching orders, our other pair of purchases are currently motoring in the Merc. Now we haven't got the opposition anywhere near us. Yeah. What do we think of their stuff? I hate the lion! <laughs> <laughs> but you're secretly quite jealous of the ink one. I'm really jealous of the ink one. They did yeah. well with that, didn't they? The only thing I will say, I'm not sure if it's got its glass liner. And do we know what they paid for it? I'm not sure. They were very, very sheepish, no. weren't they? No. Is Layla like that all the time? No! But, 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 but. You know what she did in EastEnders? Ah, yes. Dodgy deals. Yes. To be clear, on this trip, she's been perfectly legit, so far at least. I would love to know how far back you and Layla go. I've known Layla 16, 17 years. Right. Layla was already in it mm -hmm. when I joined. And obviously, when you work on a soap like that, you just know everybody inside out. You spend all day together every day. But when you were actually filming, did you sort of overlap? Did you actually have storylines together? We did, because at one point I was married to her... I better get this right. <laughs> he was her grandson, I think. I lived with her at one point in the show. So we've always had filming to do together. Right. But you do, you just see each other again after years, no matter who it is, and you just get straight back into it. Oh, that's great. So it is like one big family. Yeah, it really is. There's one last bit of retail therapy for these two in the town of Ashburton. Nestled on the edge of Dartmoor, the town was once famous for Ashburton Pop, a fizzy alcoholic drink that some liken to champagne. Sadly, the recipe died away with its brewer back in 1785. <laughs> Probably for the best, as our pair need to be clear-headed for the task ahead. That's it. This looks perfect for us. In a nutshell. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's the name of the shop, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to find that special thing here. I think we are. Well, sure. Well, you're in luck. This place is chock-a-block full of special things, all beautifully curated and laid out. You could almost move in, couldn't you? I'm sure shopkeeper Lydia wouldn't object as long as you part with some of your remaining £170. Now, what do we fancy? Silver. Mm. Silver. Or is it silver? That's lovely. You're saying it's lovely. Why are you saying it's lovely? Because it's pretty, it's feminine. Where's it from? Devon. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fault her logic. Look at the patterns. I see a palm tree. Is it oriental? I think it is Burmese or Indian. It... This is beautiful. My concern is they've called it white metal. White metal, because we're not sure, I guess, if it's silver. What do you think? 
Do you know, it's difficult because obviously it's totally different to English silver. Right. The purity, the English purity is much higher. And because of that, it's priced up at £45. Would you have this on your dressing table? <sighs> no. 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 See, a lot of people are a bit funny about buying this because you think of the idea of using somebody else's comb, brushes, etc. Hundred percent. Mm. So what I felt was bristles. Ew. Right. Ew. <laughs> Where's that bin? <laughs> I'm touching it anyway. I like the tray, Bess. I think the tray is lovely. Do you not like think... little trinkets? Put all your rings I and know, bracelets that, yeah, and that I would. Shall we sort of think about that? Yes. Yeah. We know it's there. We know it's there. Mm. I do like it. Good. The brush. Gives me the ick a well, little bit. Well, you don't have to use it. I want to brush my hair with it. <laughs> That's a potential anyway. Back in Brixham, while Layla's enjoying the fizz, her oppo is being given the runaround. Angus, have you found anything? How can I be of a service for you, Mom? Nice tip for Angus. Have you found anything? Well, I was just playing this boatswain's whistle, but I was playing dress up actually. Do you like it? I thought I could serve you like this, you know. Well, that's all right. Just yeah. find me something nice. OK. Right, I'll get looking then. You can tell who the captain is round here. Ship's bucket, nice. Rope handle, coopers, royal coat of arms on it. I don't like it. Find something else then. Go on, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Go on. Back to the hold with you, Mr Ashworth. What's that? Coat hooks. They're off the SS France. Nobody's going to know that when they're in their house, are they? No, but they're quite stylish, aren't they? Hang your coat on it. Nah. Right. I'll do better. There must be something in here that floats our boat. <laughs> hey, what do you think to that? Is it real? Yeah, it's real. 1940s. What do you think? I like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? How much? Uh, oh, it's a thousand pounds. Oh, well, we can't afford that. I know, we? but I, I just thought you'd been on the Queen Mary. There might be a mutiny at this rate. How about this lamp round here? It's stuck, I can't bring it round. It's like a bulkhead lamp, it's quite cool, different. Now, I, I quite rate these, I know you've turned everything down, but there's, there's a pair of them. I think they're priced individually, but they are in the sale. So I think he wants rid of it, Bob, because he keeps reducing the price. How much? 140 down to 100, so we might be able to do a deal for the pair. They're quite nice. Do you like this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a potential. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I've found something. We'd better pipe Bob aboard and see if we can parley. Hello, Bob. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> found well, something like, don't you? Yeah. Those lights. The Arc Royal lights. Yeah. But what did you say they was off They're of? from the Arc Royal, the uh, carrier. My dad worked on there. Did he? Yeah, he was an officer on that ship. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a sign, isn't it? As they go into a good home, maybe be able to do the pair for 150. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think your dad's talking to you, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Dad, is that all right? <laughs> he said yeah. And that ship-shaped deal leaves Layla with £70 in her pocket. Well, I'll have to get them unbolted off the plinth now. Yeah, I know. But you had practice, didn't you, on the... Uh... I never unbolted anything. Shut up! <laughs> Trying to make me look like I'm a tea leaf. In subordination, that is. Time we ran ashore. What do you reckon, anyway? What? My jacket and cap. Do you like it? What have you got that on for? Well, don't you think it looks smart? Take it back. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I think Big Mo might be rubbing off on him. Over in Ashburton, they're also getting the VIP treatment with table service, no less. Lydia, thank you very much. Thank you. That's Ooh. all just arrived, so I'm still sort of sorting through it. None of it's priced yet, but if you're interested in anything, let me know. A rummage box from the back room. Lovely. What's in the box? What's in the box? I think you're going to like this. Please tell me it's worth <laughs> something. OK, ready? Mm. Oh, nice. Do you like? Yeah. Do you? Little screw back earrings in the form of a coronet or a crown. These are gold? These will be gold, I would have thought. Shall I have a look at one? Yeah. They're Mark 9 carat and they're hallmark for Birmingham and then they've got little seed pearls on them. Were you ever Queen of the Vic? <laughs> yeah. Were you Queen yeah, of Vic? Yeah, at one point. In EastEnders? I owned it when my Did dad died. You? And left it. Yeah. Yes, Crown. the Queen V. <laughs> really tiny one. <laughs> I want it. You want it. Do you want to see if you can do a little? Yeah. I can't. Lydia. Hi. Hi. 
Right. OK, how did you get on? Very well, thank you very much. I really, really love these. Mm -hmm. Why are there three? I can only think that because one is, is quite badly damaged. bent and damaged, perhaps they then sent off for a replacement. Mm -hmm. So I think, I don't think anyone has three ears. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, roughly, you, mm -hmm. would, you would sell them for? I think I'd be looking to get around 45 for those. OK. We would be looking to potentially buy them for 30. Well, is there anything else you're looking at? Well, there was. OK, okay. this might help. Mm -hmm. So the dressing table set, would you consider selling it to us for 20? So 50 quid for the whole lot. 50 pounds. OK, yeah, for the two, really? we'll, we'll do Lydia. that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Very kind, Lydia. A super deal to end their shopping. Happy? Yeah. Queenie? <gasps> Let's go. Yay! <laughs> and still with 120 left over. Da, 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 da. A crown jewels. You are happy. <laughs> do you think she likes them? Now, with all their shopping in the bag, thoughts turn to the next task in hand. So how do you feel about the auction? I don't know, I've never been to one. Me neither. I wonder if your item doesn't go for a good price if you feel, like, really rejected. <laughs> I'd have to get up and say something, I'll tell you. <laughs> I know you I would. I really would. Yeah. I'd stand up and go, what a bloody miserable lot you are in here. <laughs> That's all to look forward to after some shut-eye. We've headed up country to sell our stuff in Newport. Its name goes back to the 13th century, so the port's probably not that new. <laughs> but it is home to Brettles auctioneers, who've been selling to bidders online in the room and on the phone since 2001. Wielding the gavel with aplomb today is Jemima Brettle. Found said we go for an awarding 18 in the room. Once, twice, third and last chance. Having done deals all over Devon, our women of Walford have arrived to sell in Shropshire. Here they are, look. Oh, look at hey, them. Excited. Yes. Showtime. This is it. This is it. The day has come. Ready? Yeah. Come yeah. on, then, you two first. Come on, come then. On then. Oh, go on, oh, go on then. <laughs> Don't all rush at once. Rita stumped up £280 on six items, which she's selling as five lots, but which is pinging Jemima's radar. Nine karat gold earrings in the form of crowns. You've got a pair and a spare, basically. They are crowns, but there's a little bit more about them. These probably be known by um, the wife or the girlfriend of um, a chap who was probably in the Royal Navy. They are in a fabulous case, and yeah, they're, they're nice things. I like them, and I think they're very pretty. Um, pretty things usually sell. Layla shelled out even more dosh on her five auction lots, 330 in total. Thoughts, Jemima? So the balloon back chair. It's a looker, I think. It's been painted, it's been re-upholstered in a, a, a fabulous upholstery. Uh, if, uh, yeah, I really am going to struggle with this one today. Oh, well, only one way to find out. Let's get comfy, shall we? Excited? Yeah, yeah it's weird, isn't it? I've no idea what sort of price anything should go for anyway. We're well, hoping. we want more than what we pay for. Yeah, we do. Yeah. That's always the hope, Layla. Your theatre poster will be the first to put to the test. Right, this is us. £30. Yeah, come on, £30. £30. Someone. Someone. Somebody, start me in. £20, then. Start oh. me in. 20. They're crying in the room. £20 bid. At £20 now. Coming come in on, two. let's go. 22 25 There you go. At 28 bid, then. Come on, one more. Please. Top, oh, top oh, production. What a wonderful auctioneer. Come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. There you <laughs> are. Come on. Right, last chance. At £28. You're not impressed. She's ah. not impressed. A small setback, but the show must go on. I told him, I said, if we lose, I'm going to kick you right in the shins. <laughs> I know, I'm worried now. First up for Rita, her suitcases combined with that toilet set. Like a one-stop travel shop. 
I like them cases. I'd have that for myself. A bikini and a towel and a little dress, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all I ever take on. Yeah. I'm starting the bid straight in at 55, 60. At We've 60 got a long pounds, way to go still. Five. At 60 pounds now, 5, 70. At 70 pound bid now, 5, 80. At 80 pounds with me, 5, 90. Yeah. At 90 pounds with One me, more. 5, 100. At 100 pounds now, keep going. 10, 20. Yes. At 120, at 120. <laughs> at I told you I'd buy them. You chose the. Yeah. You say you've at got good taste. And at 130, 140, well, still with me. 150, 160, still That's with me. That's their best lot. I didn't think they were going. At 160, 70, 180, oh. 180 at 180, <laughs> here we go. Final warning, I am selling for 180 with me. Here we go for 180 pounds. <laughs> that doubled up. I think Rita and Catherine might be going places. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Layla's upcycled chair now had a bit of a fix up this one. Honestly, broken legs are in. <laughs> She's going to tell you that, isn't she? <laughs> no, broken legs aren't in. No. <laughs> I keep stum if I were you, Angus. Start me in at thirty pounds for the chair. Thirty pounds for the chair. Anybody at twenty then? Right. It's unique. Oh, we've got twenty pounds. <gasps> oh. At twenty-two now. It's that's Tassel good. Dassel. Twenty-five. At twenty-five now. Look at it. Keep going. Why are we stopping? We shouldn't be stopping. Keep going. Press that button. Rare. Put your it's hand rare modern anyway. artwork. Twenty-eight. Oh. At yeah. twenty-eight now. <laughs> At twenty-eight now. Round it up. Well, we've got a round. Yes. Fill it up. Thirty vid now. Yes. yes. Oh, well done. <laughs> At thirty pounds, thirty-two. Oh. Yeah. At 32. Come on, dig deep. Get your money out. At we've still got a long way to go. Come on. <laughs> well, we keep on going. So we're at thirty-five now. Yes. Oh. At thirty-five. Come on. Now we've got a proper online battle here. It's a nice tassel on the back. Do you know what they've just done? They've just pressed their button. Thirty-eight pounds. Yeah. It's the tassel that's done it. That's done it. It'd be very rude not to press that button one more time. Forty pounds. Yeah. Forty pounds. Yeah. For forty pounds, then once, twice, third, and last chance today. Oh. Selling online. Here we go for forty pounds. That's another loss. <laughs> yeah. But not for the lack of trying. Good effort, everyone. Well, that could have been a lot worse. I know, but we paid more than we... I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Rita's cat's eye dress button's up next, and for this, they have a secret weapon. Oh, you found a penny. Yeah, it was... Someone gave it to me and said, see a penny, pick it up. Oh. <laughs> Let me hold it for five minutes. <laughs> when ours is over, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> We've got a bit of 18, 20, should make more than this, hopefully. Yes, 18, they should. 20, 2, 5. Started too low. Come at thirty pounds, at thirty pounds, no, we 30 need pound more. Bid now, no. Come on, thirty-two. Yes. At thirty-two now, bid. At thirty-two. Come on. At thirty-two now, you're going to go one more. Go on. Go on. Go on. Surely. Go on. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> at thirty-five, then in the room. What at a gent. At thirty-five now, I'm looking for eight. At thirty-five, then once, twice. Oh. Here we go then in the room to this gent here for thirty-five pounds. It's a penny. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you give us the lucky penny there. That's the penny. I wouldn't hold that much stock in it after that result. I don't like making a loss. I can all. tell, yeah. I don't. You're a little bit competitive, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Under the hammer now is Layla's big chunk of silver, the Capstan Inkwell. I can start the bidding straight in at £40. Pounds. £40 pounds straight in at 40 Come on. At £40 pounds now, going to keep going. Yes, 42 anywhere. Silver, at 40 pounds straight lovely. In. I think it might be straight out as well. At forty oh, pounds, no. then you cover something, your shins, please. Angus. No, okay. Cover oh, them. At cover them. Forty pounds, then. And if you're going to have an inkwell, you're going to have this one. And it's silver. And it's silver. Going to wait one more second, but here we go. It will be so. Look at that. Oh. Forty-two. Oh. At forty-two, then here we go. At forty-two. Oh. Oh. Well. Now there's no use crying over spilt ink. I will pack my bags well, now if I was you. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I've not got my art shoes on, isn't it? <laughs> Rita's Arts and Crafts log bin now. It's her priciest item. I'm starting straight in at forty pounds on my auto bid here. Forty. At forty-two. Forty-two now bid with me. Forty-five, sir. Forty-five in the room. Forty-eight. I've got a live bid now. Fifty. Yes. Come 50 on. Fifty pounds. Top at lot. Pounds. Five. Oh. Sixty. We Coming need a in bit at five. More. Five. Yes. 70, sir? Are oh, you sure, sir? sir? Here we go, 65. 
Oh. Fine. Well, it was never a copper-bottomed guarantee. It doesn't Not matter. Not horrendous uh, it in the grand scheme of things. I think that was our, that was our tough, tough... Yeah. Leila loved this heraldic lion doorstop. Rita was less enamoured. So, I mean, at 50 for it? Oh, oh. oh yes, come on, 50. Just try it, you know. Yeah, start try it, why? Start me in at 40. Uh. Start me in at 30. Come it's on, got to be oh, worth that oh, all day long. 20. It's Bang. been lovely work with you. I'm going to go now. <laughs> start me in at 10. £10 bid. At 10 now, can we get it? 12. Oh, look, they all want it. 18, 20. We want to live on the edge here, too. Keep going. At 22, at 22. Five. Oh, what a wonderful gentleman that is. <laughs> here we go, at 25. Be afraid, Angus. Looks like there weren't any Leos in the crowd today. Do you all want to come to my funeral? Or <laughs> it'd be nice to know you're there. One from the rummage box now. Rita's crown earrings, a pair with a spare. Where do you put the third earring? <laughs> Don't ask. Well, I could start right now online at 30, 2, 5, 8, at 38, 40, at 40 pound, 2, 5 for me, at 48 now, coming in at 50. It's a lovely box as well, it's a naval box. At 50 pounds, 55. Come on, they would make a bit more than that. At 55 pounds, we've gone very quiet. I'm selling online then. For 55. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I should say so. Nearly doubled up. How does it feel? I thought they would make a bit more. <laughs> well, there's one final chance for Rita to find out. Can she do it again with her dressing table set? So we start at 50, 50, 50 bit on the foam strip. Yeah. On the foam. <laughs> at 50 pounds. Five. 60, five on the phone, straight in, thank you. 65, 65 now, coming in at 70 online. 70 pounds, five. At 75 on the phone? Yes, please. 75. At 75 now, coming in at 80 online. Come on, online. 80 pounds. Cleaned up, cleaned up, cleaned up. 85 on the phone here, at 85. 90, 95, 95, 95, fit it up for me now online. 100 bit, the next bit is 110. No, it's OK, that's fine. <laughs> but I've got £100 and I'm going to take £100. Here we go, final warning, I'm going to ask in the room now. We're happy with that. For £100. Well done, auctioneer. And well done, Rita and Catherine. Five times what you paid for it. This is it, I'm changing career. Brilliant. I want to become an antiques dealer. Vela's last lot, lamps from the Ark Royal, no less. Can she still steam ahead if the punters get on board? I'm starting in at 42. At 42 now, coming in at 5. Come at on. 45, 48, 55. Yeah, they're going. Yeah. At 55 now. 55 online. 65 now. At Long 65 way to go. now, come on, fill it up. At 65 now, coming in at 70 anywhere. It's about that high. Yeah. It's almost taller than me. Well, no, that's not. <laughs> 65. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't <laughs> at 65, I'm selling at 65. I'm really sorry. It will be. <laughs> I think we all saw that coming. Commiserations, Leila. We're going to leave you two to have your little I mean, con flap. Come on, let's leave yeah. them to it. Your chair lost money. I think it's Rita. She stitched us up. I think she was yeah. a bit of a jinx today. Yeah, I, I to think so. Yeah. Come on, let's go. All right, don't milk it, Angus. Good effort from Leila and her chum, but sadly, after auction fees, they make quite a loss, ending up with £234 exactly. But it's jubilations for the Queen of the Vic as Rita finished on £476.70 after sale room fees, and the profit from all that lot goes to children in need. But aside from bruised egos and shins, was it worth the trip from Walford? I'm not being funny. I might start getting into antiques after this. There's a, there's a profit to be made. We could go together, couldn't we? Head. I've so enjoyed myself. Me too. I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh, Lena. She's just a big East End softie, really. Cheerio.